Shalom, blessed souls. Shalom Aleichem, peace upon you. This is Dhamma Talk. And I'd like to vibe with you right now about a center for recreation down in Miami, Florida, run by a good friend, Mordechai Ramos, and his Aishis Chayl, his woman of uh, Yahaloma. And I'd like to bring out the fact that I am blessed and anointed and hopefully they won't be disappointed by my humble offering towards the support of Zion Karate. Now here's the envelope I'm going to be sending out today. And you can see the address is Zion Karate 1758 Northeast 163rd Street, Miami, Florida 331 Six two. Also, there's a phone number you can contact Mordechai at three four seven nine four seven five eight hundred. That's three zero five nine four seven fifty eight hundred. And I hope to do as much as I can with a video or two, maybe three, to promote this worthy organization, which is trying to help youth of all ages from children in single digit numbers to adolescents who have fallen through the safety nets of society and stand in peril of, of leading lives which they might sincerely regret and certainly general society will regret if they get involved in things which are negative as we say in Hebrew but with that being said I'd like to talk about the concept of tzedakah based on a teaching of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, direct descendant of Shlomo Melech and Dovid Melech, King Solomon and King David, where the Rebbe talked about in one of his sichot, sichos, in his talks that he would give either during the week or uh, on a Shabbat, holy Shabbat in Crown Heights, Irie Heights, Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York, where we see that the precise translation from Lashon Kodesh, from the Holy Tongue, concerning the subject matter of charity, is actually chesed, or kindness. Whereas by we of Israel, the matter of charity is not called kindness, but rather tzedakah. So we should take a moment, hopefully, to meditate on the difference between kindness, chesed, charity, and tzedakah, which is an act of righteousness. So we see that kindness is found by someone who is, has a tov lev, a good heart. So he or she sees another he or she who is lacking, and even though they have no obligation to help them, they go out of their way to help them. And out of this, the purity and goodness of his or her heart, they help another unfortunate soul in their physical, spiritual, mental, or cognitive faculties to strengthen them to hopefully that they will be empowered to move on in a more independent, dignified manner. Whereas by the concept of tzedakah, righteous, an act of righteousness, is that the person is actually obligated to give to another with the idea that when one gives to another, whether it be money, doing emotional support, tutoring a person, helping a person, it simply is walking across the street. This is an act where they understand as they do that act of tzedakah, that act of righteousness, it is not of their own doing or strength, but rather they've been loaned the strength or loaned the economic capabilities or the emotional capacities or the cognitive faculties, which are merely on loan from the Almighty to help another person. Because anything that we have is merely a deposit which the Almighty, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, Blessed Be He, the Ein Sof Baruch Hu, the Infinite Creator, has deposited by us. And therefore, since we are in need that the Almighty gives to us, us those of us who are able to give tzedakah to others, the truth is the Almighty is not obligated to give to us. Therefore, we should do as He does. 
that since he is not obligated yet gives, therefore we are obligated to give, measure for measure. And so when a person engages in act of tzedakah, righteousness, the Almighty is bound to give that person even more than that person was able to give in the beginning when they originally engaged in those acts of tzedakah, those acts of righteousness. And a person can reach a positive state of awareness and being and existence where they can be given more than their own particular talents and abilities based on what they've accomplished, so they can accomplish even more than they originally thought they could accomplish. And in particular, we should realize that tzedakah is something, righteousness is something which is particularly connected to the masses. And in particular, when centers of Torah are supported, and all those who have learned in centers of Torah understand that tzedakah is the basis, is the foundation of their life in establishing their own homes, in particular in the nation of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, B'nai Israel, the children of Israel. But we encourage all children of Noah as well to consider, build your lives, build your foundations based on acts of righteousness. Because the Almighty who is not obligated to you is giving to you. And therefore try to give to others. And see how it blossoms into more opportunity to do even more acts of righteousness upon the creation. And I'm also particularly impressed by the fact that Brother Mordechai mentions uh, in this video that I'll be responding to that at the end of the sessions where he has adolescents coming, I think it's Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 9 o'clock, they spend about 15 minutes at the end of each karate session where they dwell, go into and immerse themselves into scripture, which scripture is Torah, whether it be the five books of Moses, whether it be Proverbs, uh, Mishle, Tehillim Psalms. And I'd just like to conclude with this humble suggestion, Achim Mordechai, my brother Mordechai, is to take the youth into Psalms chapters 90 through 100, which deal with the concepts of returning and sh taking shelter in the strength of the Almighty, and also in Proverbs, where in, the, in there King Solomon, Shlomo Melech, calls upon the peoples of the world to gain wisdom, to gain cunning, not in a negative, sinister way, but in a way to deal with with the nuances and sometimes the convoluted situations we find in lives to extricate ourselves through acts of kindness and meditations involving wisdom and understanding and internalization of, of, of essential concepts rooted in the foundations of Torah which can extricate a person from any negative situation. With that being said, blessed souls, I conclude with Sababa, rejoice, Ahavechad, one love, Gorelechad, Ukulani, live the live, heart to heart.